Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Howdy folks, it's Cam with Mr. Shrek here. Looking for some news today out of the FCA, the Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. And it's about Jeep, the electric Jeep. Now, <laughs> I'm old enough to give you a little bit of history. The early 1900s, there were several electric cars. Ford had one, several of them had one. They didn't have a whole lot of places to charge them and batteries were kind of a new thing. And, you know, I mean, Stanley Steamer had a vehicle on steam on water would run 100 miles an hour. But it may not have the brakes to stop that so it was quite the quite the deal what was going on back then there was no infrastructure for charging batteries and now that's all coming around i mean a lot of municipalities they have free places to charge there's plus little parking places just to charge tesla's got a network all around the the interstates and so things are getting ready for the new electric happening that's coming and, you know, I've had a, a hybrid car, and it, you know, I didn't charge it, charge itself, but it got 45 miles a gallon as a full-size car. And, man, it was it was fantastic. I think that was the way to go. So, you know, I'm all for the hybrids coming and the full electric coming, but, you know, when you're doing off-road things or pulling trailers, your battery's going to be a little tricky. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, the hybrids will kind of lead the way and it will go all electric. But right now, the, uh, you know, Jeep's done the electrification on several of their Jeeps, the Renegade and Compass and all that. And now the Jeep Wrangler, it's, it's turn, it's called the Wrangler 4XE. Everything seems to have an E in it, like there's a Mustang E. That's, you know, the the electric Mustang is coming. So a lot of E's going on out there. And I'm going to be showing you some videos and some pictures of what's going on with the new Wrangler. And it, uh, you know, it's good. It's going to be a four-wheel drive vehicle. And, you know, they're, they're going to be available all over the country. In the United States, I guess it's early 2001. And it'll be in China and Europe and everywhere. And uh, I guess the, the Compass and the Renegade will be in Europe this summer. But the 4E, 4XE Wrangler, I guess that means four-wheel drive, boosts 375 horsepower and will go 25 miles on nothing but electric juice. So, you know, they're making these very usable. And it's going to be the future. They may have to start piping noise in to make sure we know what a V8 sounds like. But uh, that's a whole other story. And he, when it does that, you know, it's zero emissions, it's very quiet. I mean, there's a lot of things that are hidden uh, the way of the electric engine. I mean, we've had, you know, electric stuff around for a long time, cordless drills, cordless everything. I mean, I had a bag phone even once, and it had its own little battery in it. And then went to a brick phone, and went to the flip phone, and <laughs> on and on it goes. So we're living in the good times where we get to see a lot of new technology come out. And uh, let's see what this has. It has the torque on demand electric power to enhance the off-road performance. So you know, that's what a lot of the hybrids do. They add power to what you've already got. You know, you've added, you know, got more, you get a little more horsepower because an actual electric engine puts out 100% torque. That's why they run locomotives. You probably know this, but your trains all run on electricity. They have a electric generator that generates it. A lot of your big heavy equipment in these mines is run off electricity by a diesel generator. So that the diesel generating electricity is not new either, but if now it's going to be more mainstream coming out. So we'll see what happens there. And because of that torque, you get uh, that uh, torquey electric motors, you get low speed torque on demand. And you've got, uh, you know, this, this one here is going to have, uh, of course, all the four wheel drive things you want, solid front and rear axles, full time, four wheel drive, two speed transfer case. And, and uh, articulated suspension, I got the good five link suspension, 30 inches of water fording, that seems to be the big thing now, is water fording. Now this Wrangler 4XE is going to have a 2 liter 4 cylinder direct injection gas engine. It's got two electric motors and it's an 8 speed automatic tied to all that. I mean this thing could get clear up there, looks like they're showing it might be in, uh, with electric power of 50 miles per gallon. And that's what I'm looking forward to. These hybrids. That's the secret of a hybrid, is it you know it may get the same fuel mileage on the highway as a lot of vehicles, but in town it may get the same fuel mileage as on the highway. That's the big deal. Is driving in the city and letting the regenerative brake and all those other things that help you do something. I'll show you some videos here in just a little bit. 
It's a 400 volt, 17 kilowatt, 96 cell battery pack. It's been no, it's below the second row seat, and it, uh, it's going to have a special interior and a bunch of other things. Um, let's see. In Europe, of course, it's only on the Compass and the Renegade, the smaller SUVs. And they're going to have 240 horsepower and, and uh, go. It's got 50 kilometers, 31 miles, zero emissions. So that's you know they're a little lighter than what the Wrangler is going to be. So they're going to go a little further on that battery. What we've done is given this iconic Jeep Wrangler an advanced 4xe eco-friendly plug-in hybrid solution. The customer gets what they expect: a quiet, open-air freedom, a more fun-to-drive on-road experience and a new level of benchmark off-road capability. Overall, the Wrangler 4xe is going to be rated at 375 combined horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. So let's talk about the powertrain and some of the components. First, it starts up front with our high-efficiency 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It's a direct-inject engine with a twin-scroll low-inertial turbocharger. We're building on the technology we introduced a few years ago with our e-torque. And on the front of the engine, we have a belted starter generator that delivers additional torque to the front of the engine through the crankshaft. It even eliminates the need for an old-fashioned mechanical starter. Then behind the engine we have in our transmission, we've installed a high-voltage motor generator unit that replaces the traditional torque converter. A clutch delivers the torque from the engine through the transmission in various different modes. When the clutch is open, the motor drives the transmission in full electric operation. Now to power all this, we put on board a 400 volt battery pack, and energy comes from 96 of these lithium ion NMC chemistry cells. And this battery pack is mounted underneath the second row seat to protect it, not underneath the vehicle where some other battery packs are mounted. We wanted the Jeep to be a Jeep. The powertrain system delivers up to 25 miles of all electric range. That 25 miles covers the most daily needs of many of our customers. But even when you're not in EV mode, the Wrangler 4xe can operate as a high efficiency hybrid, eliminating any EV range anxiety. The total range is nearly 400 miles when fully charged at the start. The Wrangler 4xe will give the customer drive mode choices also with what we call E-Select. There's three selection modes, hybrid, which is the default when you get in and turn it on, electric only, and then we have an e-save mode which conserves the battery and charges it as you drive along in case you want to use it for later use. The Wrangler 4xe can also maximize regenerative energy by use of a, a driver selectable max regen button. This feature allows you to work with normal regen, which is, feels like your normal brakes that you use, or a little more aggressive regen so you can capture all that energy from the four wheels on the vehicle. The Wrangler 4xe has all of the Jeep Wrangler's legendary off-road capabilities, including a Dana 44 axle on the front and the rear. The 4xe's unique all-wheel drive transfer case is adding a two high select mode to allow you to improve even more fuel economy if you're on the highway. You know, we've logged over 1.4 million miles of real-world on-road and off-road validation in all the corners of the world to make sure it's ready. We want to make sure this do anything Wrangler does everything we promise. Well, it's going to be cool because we introduced it last year in Geneva. I don't ever make it, at least that was the Renegade and Compass. I don't make it to Germany for the big auto shows. But uh, anyway, the, uh, the it's a plug in hybrid powertrain is capable of uh, 25 miles without anything but its own juice electric only propulsion uh it's gonna be like a you know it's gonna be designed to be a daily driver and of course on the weekends you can go play with it that's what's cool about any of these off-road capable vehicles to go play with them on the weekend this makes the whole experience funner and i'll show you the pictures of all the badging they're doing all these other things uh they're saying it's the most efficient responsible and capable of the brands they were created you know from jeep and I guess we'll see. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to riding that. I do a lot of off-roading, you know, with, I just bought a Jeep. Uh, it's an old 87. We're going to build up and have fun with that. We're putting a snorkel on it now. And we're going to put it on, you know, lockers front and rear later on. But, oh, yeah, there we go. Now we go to see. They're still calling into the sea. 
a high-tech two-liter turbocharged inline four with that eight speed four to one transfer case first electronic front sway bar disconnect system um, looks like they're gonna it's built in Toledo Ohio okay here's the, the drivetrain two electric motors 400 pack inline four engine mounted uh, motor generator unit transmission mounted motor generator unit so there's your two motors one hooked to the transmission one hooked to the engine but um, <laughs> Still trying to figure out what this engine is. Uh, high voltage liquid cooled motor generator unit mounts the front of the engine, replacing the conventional alternator. Well, of course, that can produce the same thing an alternator does. So you got two uses there. A robust belt connects the motor generator to the engine crank shaft pulley. Sounds kind of like that e motor they had earlier in the trucks. Uh, the motor generator spins the engine. Uh, fuel saving stop start operation. So that's kind of what that uh, other e, e generator had on them. Uh, doesn't use the conventional 12 volt starter motor, so that's all going to be started with that belt. I like that uh, the uh, whatever that E was that they had in the pickups. Uh, 12 volt battery to run the accessories. Second high voltage motor generator mounted in front of the transfer case, replacing the conventional torque converter of an automatic transmission. That's interesting. Two clutches work to manage power and torque with the e-motor and the engine binary clutch on-off mounted between the engine and the motor. Okay, so it's got kind of like an electric clutch binary. Hmm. Hmm. When this clutch is open, there's no mechanical linkage between the engine and the e-motor, which enables to propel the Wrangler 4XE in electric mode only. When the binary clutch is closed, torque from the 2-liter engine and the e-motor flow to combine through the automatic transmission. Variable clutch mounted behind the e-motor engages, manages engagement with the transmission to improve drivability and efficiency. So, and in this, uh, you know, the 400 volt, 17 kilowatt, 96 cell lithium ion battery, there's a big deal. And let's see, it's gonna be mounted under that second row seat. We talked about that. That's for the four rows, the four the second row seats is the redesign allowing for the custom cushion to flip forward to access the battery on the Wrangler 4XE. Okay, it's got a, it's encased in aluminum housing. The battery is a pack is fitted dedicated heating and cooling unit, which is important on those because you can get a lot of heat coming out of a battery doing all of its work. And so you need to control the temperature in that. Dedicated heater unit, chiller that uses the Wrangler's air conditioning refrigerant to reduce coolant temperature when needed. So they're thinking really far ahead on this thing, make sure it's gonna be a long lasting type of an electric system. And the Wrangler 4XE hybrid system, integrated dual charging module, combines a battery charger and a DC-DC converter. In a single unit, it's more compact than two separate components. So that power inverter module is reduced in size. Well, that's interesting. All high voltage electronics, including the wire between the battery pack and electric motors, are sealed and waterproof. Like all trail rated Jeep Wranglers, Wrangler 4XE is capable of water fording. That's what the water fording is all about 30 inches, because they want to prove that all that's waterproof, the, the wiring going to the batteries from the generators, from the electric motors. Uh, push open, push close cover, front cowl of the Wrangler for electric charge port. Uh, convenient nose in parking for charging. Oh, so the charger is going to be on the front. Okay. That's good because, you know, a lot of cases if you're pulling a trailer, it's kind of hard to get around some of these charging stations. You might be pulling a small trailer with one of these and you can just drive in. Let somebody else drive around your trailer. Okay, it gets three. The powertrain on this Wrangler 4XE has got three modes of operation known as an E Select. Driver can select desired powertrain mode via buttons, metal instrument panel on the left side of the steering wheel. The 4XE operates as a hybrid once the battery nears its optimum state of charge. The hybrid mode blends the torque from the 2 liter engine and the electric motor. In this mode, this powertrain will use battery power first, then propulsion from the 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine when the battery reaches maximum state of charge. The powertrain operates on zero emissions electricity only when the battery reaches its minimum charge and a driver requests more torque, such as wide open throttle, which engages the engine, the two liter engine. Uh, okay, so that's the three the hybrid, the electric, and the e save. The e save 
prioritizes propulsion from the 2-liter engine, saving the battery charge for later use, such as EV off-roading or urban areas where urban work internal combustion propulsion is restricted. The driver can also choose between battery save and battery charge during the e-save via hybrid electric page, uh, pages in the uh, Uconnect monitor. So that's the three modes, hybrid, electric, and e-save. To help you optimize the benefit of the e-select modes, Wrangler X, 4X driver information display with the Uconnect touchscreen features eco coaching pages. That's what I need. I need coached eco coaching pages. Let owners monitor power flow and see the impact of regenerative braking, schedule charging times, take advantage of lower electric rates, and view their driving history so you see what you're doing if you actually know how to drive this thing. Regenerative braking is a key part of the Wrangler 4XE equation. When the driver steps on the brake pedal, the powertrain engages the maximum available regenerative braking. Uh, with the electric motors to slow the vehicle, augmented by Wrangler's traditional friction brakes. The regenerative braking also extends the replacement period for brake pads. That's cool. You're not going to, you know, you're using them for good things and not going to be wearing them out as fast. I like that for the brake pads. With the four-wheel drive engaged, all four wheels feed torque to the regenerative braking, maximizing the energy recovery. Well, that's interesting. So, it'll do it just by driving, too, not necessarily braking. I like that. I think every, the Tesla has that. Electricity due to the regenerative braking is fed to the battery pack to maintain or increase state of charge. Wow, that is cool that when you put it in four-wheel drive and you're crawling, those brakes will regenerate the battery. That's awesome. It's got the ability to maximize regenerative energy production via a driver selectable max regen feature. Well, that's cool. I don't know if that costs you gas when it does that for a driver, driver selectable max regen feature. Huh. Got to look into that one. When the max regen is engaged, a more assertive regenerative brake calibration occurs when the vehicle reaches zero throttle input from the driver when you're coasting. Huh. Max regen can slow the Wrangler 4XE faster than standard regenerative braking and generate more electricity for the battery pack. Once selected, the max regen feature remains engaged and the driver dis discollects it. Well, that's kind of cool if you really want to charge that battery, but I don't know if that causes excessive brake wear, what that does. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed. So, protect that window. Okay, for off-road. The all Wrangler 4XE power modes are available when the drivetrain shifted to 4 low. Wow, the power mode, there you go. Seamless integration of electric power from the 4 drive drivetrain drive train elevates Wrangler 4XE to new levels of off road performance. Does that mean speed, power, torque? What's that mean exactly? We'll, just, we'll find out. But that is cool if that instantly gives you more torque, which would make sense from the electric motors being 100% you know, torque. And, wow, you'd have a little more power. I guess you could idle more when you're climbing or crawling because you'd have a lot of extra power and torque. That's interesting. I want to drive that and see exactly how that feels. Okay, it's going to be a little quieter with Jeep because of all this with electricity. Let's see. You've got the Sahara model. Um, three models. The Sahara, Rubicon. Uh, let's see. Sahara, where's the other one? Where's the third one, guys? Come on. Three models. Oh, I guess just called 4XE, the Sahara XE, Rubicon 4XE. So I guess the 4XE is just a standard base model, whatever that is. Uh, and then it looks like the, the Sahara is equipped with a full-time four-wheel drive system, front and rear gen, next generation Dana 44 axles, and select track two-speed transfer case with a 2.72 to 1 low range ratio. Now that's good. Dana 44s are great, and I like the select track two speed. I like that better than the quad track. So they're putting some really dependable systems in here. An available track lock limited slip rear differential provides extra grip and capability, low traction on sand, gravel, ice, or snow. Of course, you want a locker. It's a Jeep. You want a locker. That's a limited slip rear differential. 
Wrangler Rubicon 4 XE models carry the rock track that includes two-speed transfer case with a four to one low range. Now you're talking, we're doing some crawling here. Gear ratio, full-time four-wheel drive, front and rear, next generation, Dana 44 axles, true lock, electric front and rear axle lockers. Now we're talking, yeah, I gotta get the Rubicon. The Wrangler Rubicon X or 4 XE has an impressive crawl ratio of 77. 0.2 to 1. Yeah, that's barely moving. I can get out and walk next to it. <laughs> uh, offers, uh, which offers more improved articulation, total suspension travel with help from the front axle, electric sway bar disconnect. Together, these components contribute to a maximum off-road prowess Wrangler Rubicon is non known for. There you go. Yeah, the basic model, the Wrangler 4XE, includes select track control, here descent, here hill, here ascent, here hill descent, and all that. Okay, speed up and speed down, rugged grades, the transmission shift lever. <clears throat> of course, there's trail rate and all that. You got skid plates, let's see. Looks like the regular Wrangler has skid plates, front and rear tow hooks. The Wrangler Rubicon will get clear up to 44 degrees of approach angle. Breakaway wrangles 22.5, departures 35.6. Ground clearance of 10.8. And you can get uh, 17 inch off road wheels or off road wheels, 33 inch tires on the Rubicon, 20 inch on the Wrangler XE and Sahara 4XE. Of course, they're going to have performance parts for this, all that normal, more bull bar stuff that you can buy for your Jeeps. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, this has got, uh, I'll show you the badging in the pictures, but yeah, it's got, uh, the Rubicon's got uh, unique electric blue, electric blue stitching on the seats and a trim. 10 colors on the outside when the new 2021 jeep wrangler 4xe well they're calling it a 4 by e that's what they're saying the x instead of saying 4xe like i keep saying they're calling it a, a 4 by e <coughs> plug-in hybrid is let's see 2021 you can get all those jeep performance parts in mopar and uh you know there's over 300 jeep wrangler products so there's plenty of stuff to go put on your Jeep. That's what happens. You buy a Jeep, you know, even my old one, you buy something, you just constantly put more stuff on it. That's how that works. And at the Jeep Performance Parts in Mopar, you can get a 240 volt at home electric vehicle wall charger on Amazon. Well, that's quite the deal. Unlike the aftermarket offerings, Jeep Performance Parts accessories are backed by a full factory warranty. So that's cool. Keep throwing that stuff on there and it's all covered. But anyway, that's what I know about it now. You'll watch the video, watch the pictures, and see what you can see. But remember, this is not called a 4XE. It's called a 4XE. 4XE. you got to remember that new name. 4XE. Sounds exciting. This is the Geo four-wheel drive off-road market. It's lighting up a very competitive space. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click... Uh, subscribe a like a bell wherever the bell is I haven't found it yet but anyway it's out there so come visit mr too but thanks for watching